Hi folks, Paul down here at CCRV, uh, where we sell fifth wheels. Now we've got a real treat for you today. It's the first new, new, brand new Ford Ranger that we've put hitch in. So we've hitched it up to one of our units. The customer's coming down a bit later on. Uh, but we've hitched it up to one of our units just to make sure everything's good to go. So we're going to go down and have a look at it now. This is an amazing truck and I think uh, for us it's the perfect truck uh, really for towing these fifth wheels. They're a bit expensive because they're brand new. But, you know, you have a look at this truck. It's well worth the money if you're in the market for that sort of thing. Here we go. Ashley's playing about with it now that he can't get his fingers off this truck. <laughs> nice truck. Yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? That looks nice. Are you going to give it a ride? Yeah, that is the V6. So what we do down here is once we've uh, put a hitch in, we always connect them up just to make sure everything's uh, pretty sound on it. Uh, as you can see, the hitch has gone in there quite well. That's all fitted in there. This is on one of our second-hand units. This isn't the customers. So we're just going to give it a run around the site here just to make sure everything's all going to plan. So it's all hitched up. This is one of our Rockwoods, a 2445. As you can see, it actually matches very well on the unit. But what an amazing truck. I'll show you inside in a minute and I'll show you a direct comparison with one of the older ones. Right, as she's driving, I'm going to make sure everything turns inside the hoop there. You see, you see this hoop here? On the older Rangers, we have to take it off. Now, we're just getting a bit close now. It is getting a bit close, actually. So we're seeing if it will actually turn inside with the hoop there. Go on, keep going and we'll just see where it goes. Here comes a jet here, can you see that coming over? It's being noisy as hell. Yeah, that's all I have to part with here. Yeah. Right, so that's, it will go round inside there. Um, Obviously, if this was taken off, it would clear inside the truck easy. And I think we're going to try a little modification where we maybe cut a little bit off of this because it is a nice sort of thing to leave on. But we'll see what we can do. Um, that's it, really. That's we're actually going to take it for a little ride around the around the campsite just to make sure everything's going right. We don't touch anything on the back. You see, the advantage with these. Can you see the way it turns? It doesn't turn on the actual arm, it's turning within the arm. So that way the hitch isn't turning, it turns within the bed. So there's your new Ford Ranger. What a cracking looking truck. I see, it doesn't even know it's on the back. That hasn't even got airbags or anything. Actually, you better take it steady. It's the first time we've took it out. It's lovely, doesn't it, with the grey and white. I mean, it all does go really well. Where's he gone? I think he's just coming through there. It just shows you these will go in quite tight places. I think he's coming through there, yeah, and that's quite tight. He must admit, it does, compared, oh compared to the old Ford Ranger, there's an older shaped Ford Ranger. That's a new one, and there's the old one. So there's quite a difference in size, appearance, everything. I mean, the old Ford Ranger actually looks quite narrow compared to that. We are going to measure it, but can you see the difference? New to old. I don't think I'll be able to get Ashley out of this. I'll show you inside in a minute. Let's have a quick look on the back there. Yeah. So that is the advantage. They put it here and not here. So that's why we're getting in a really good turn circle. And everybody says, oh, the weight's not over the arch. But the plates are putting the load right across the bed, which makes a, a massive difference. Right, that's it, Ashley. So we're going to do park this back up? Or? Yeah, let's park this up. 
Actually, he's now going to park it up. Let's just give you a bit of a demo here. This is actually quite tight, so this would be sort of almost similar to a campsite, really. As you can see, you're going to come around here, and we've got another unit right here. So it's actually quite a tight turning space. So actually, you're going to see if you can swing that in there. So you've got plenty of turning on the cab. I'll give you an idea. Again, I say it's quite tight. You can see we've got one here. Just this one here. So he's just going to swing that in back in onto our uh, sales lineup. I say it, it pull it effortlessly. You can see the manoeuvrability on the cab. So he's swung that in there with ease, really. Yeah, that's all right. So you've almost got that in one. And it's usually best to do a little shunt forward and square it up. I mean, spot on. Yeah, he's got that straight in there in one. And we didn't really practice that. He's just done it straight off. Obviously, when you come and buy one, we do a little bit of practicing. It'll be a bit easier for you. But there you go. That's how easy it is. And I say, that's as tight from where that is to over here. There's most caravan sites really. Simple procedure to get it off. We'll just show you how quick it is to get it off. As he's demonstrating how quick it'll come off the rig. We've we'll dropped the front. The caravan, let's yeah. that way. <laughs> we we'll drop the front legs. We we'll drop the tailgate. Here comes the jets again. Uh, 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 pulled the handle out here. Get a little bit of a gap between each row, that's, that's it, and that's unplug it, and the truck can come off. So, that really is how quick you can disconnect the truck from the trailer. I say it's as quick, if not quicker, than the caravan, and then all we've got to do is just get the slides out, and you'll be ready. Lots of features on these trucks now. Very lot, very American style. I mean, it is the hitch in there. We've got to put another socket in there for the reversing lights and things. They put these like two inch receivers on here, which is very American. You can put bike racks, all sorts of stuff on there, and whatever tow bar you want to fit. But that's a sort of new addition on these ones. They're very American, very F-150. I mean, this guy's put a nice set of wheels on it, some arches and everything. It's a V6. And this is inside. <coughs> it's much, well, I would say, more comfortable than the old Ranger. Let's just start it up. You know, it's all very, uh, all very state-of-the-art. Everything on the iPad. Don't ask me how it works. Press a few buttons, see what happens. There you go, look at that. Well, you'll never get bored fiddling about with this. Right, there you go. It's all nice leather, all appointed, lovely, lovely finish, lots of cubby holes. It's very, I've got a defender, and it's very defender with all these cupboard holes and bits and bobs in there, I suppose. I don't know whether Land Rover Road forwards. Yep. Plenty of room in the back seats. A really nice truck. All sorts of, put your sunglasses, all sorts of bits and pieces. So there we are folks, that's the new Ford Ranger. The first one we've done down here at CCRV uh, and I think it's going to be a game changer as regards trucks. Obviously it's an awful lot of money um, and not everyone can afford one. But if you run a company, that sort of thing, there's quite some good, really good lease deals. Um, so again, if you got to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Big thumbs up from CCRV. Like and subscribe helps us out and carry on following the channel. Always something different going on down here. Now we've got a real treat for you today. Here we go, actually playing about with it. You're going to give it a ride. Yeah, he's got that straight in there in one. Simple procedure to get it off. Actually, he's demonstrating how quick it'll come off. Um, so, take it easy.